Hey, nice to see you again. I bet your business receives quite a lot of emails, some of them surely from potential clients, inquiring about your products or services. Yeah, the problem with that could be transferring their contact data to your CRM, and we do hope that you're not still doing that in Excel, by the way. Ammo CRM has a fantastic feature that is capable of automating this whole process from start to finish. This feature is called Email Parsing, and it's Ammo CRM's built-in integration which is extremely useful when you receive a lot of emails. It works best when the email body is in the same or nearly the same format. So what is parsing? Parsing is the process of analyzing a string of symbols, either in natural language, computer languages, or data structures, conforming to the rules of formal grammar. Within computer science, the term is used in the analysis of the input code into its component parts in order to facilitate the writing of compilers and interpreters. Needless to say, setting this feature up will save you a lot of time. With the proper setup, you won't have to enter information manually or import it. Say you receive an email from a prospect. The system then reads all the contact data and crucial information, creates a lead in your sales pipeline, fills in the blanks, and you can start communicating with the lead right away. No email left behind, am I right? Now, time to learn how to organize your email communication and make sure no leads fall through the cracks. Let's say we use Bark for getting web service or design requests. During the setup, we've specified our email address to get service requests straight to it. So that's basically our lead generation source, an email web form. And that's where we get the emails from. Here's one of the mails we can receive. As you can see, they all look alike and consist of a leads data such as name, phone number, email, and the request itself. The data is structured and similar each time, meaning it'll be easy for us to tell Ammo CRM what exactly it needs to read and parse. Now, this is our digital pipeline, the top-down view on the entire sales flow. What we're going to do is to automate the transfer of data from this kind of email to Ammo CRM. The leads will be directed to a specific pipeline stage that we will choose, and that will also definitely save us plenty of time. After connecting the email parser, you'll get all of your email conversations synced as leads right here in real time. Entering the lead card, showing leads data. Let's click on the lead card to see the lead's profile. As you can see, the lead was created successfully with all the right information attached to where it should be. Phone number, email, tags, it's all in there. And we didn't lift a finger for that to happen. Bliss. But wait, we can take it even further. You can set automatic tasks and assign a responsible user during the same setup so that you don't have to do it manually every time you get a new request. The lead data is in, the task for your sales manager is set up, and you can see who's responsible to take care of that. The rest of it looks pretty intimidating, but we'll get there in a minute. Moving on. So, a lead card is a magical place. You can communicate with your lead by using any available communication channel as long as it has been connected to Ammo CRM. Messengers, phone, live chat, you name it. For example, we can send a WhatsApp message to our lead right from here, from the very same tab. It's a good time saver and helps you to keep track of all the conversations with the same lead in one place. To speed things up even more, you can use chat templates. Once you make one, all you have to do is start typing its name in the chat and the system will prompt you to use it because some questions get asked way too often and it's no good having to type them in all over again every time. So, you can see email parsing is something that will help you down the line, especially if you're using websites like Bark, Eventective, Home Advisor, etc. Anything that can be made into a form and sent via email is the right thing for the email parser to process. Now let's see how to set the email parser up. A bit of preparation first though, let's create a brand new pipeline that will be called Bark in our case. This way we can easily separate the leads from this source only and avoid mixing them with any others. Of course you can set up your sales process however you deem best, but this is just an example. Now here's the interesting bit. We need to choose or make the data fields that we want the email parser to send the information into. To do that let's create a new dummy lead. Click on add new lead in the upper right corner. In the lead card press setup and then press plus. Specify the name for this field group, parsing, and add the fields that you need. In our case, that'll be the survey questions. Now, the data has a certain place to go. The touch point is made, time to set up the parser that will send the data there. Move to pipeline, click setup, add source on the left side of the screen. Select email parsing. Now you can see the modal window with the parser set up. There are four steps you need to go through. Set up your email, confirm your email, choose the template the parsing will be based on, choose the parts of the text that should be considered crucial and transferred to the data fields that we've set up earlier. Let's go through each step together. 
First, you'll be greeted with the modal window where you need to choose an email provider to get further instructions. In our case, we're going to integrate Gmail. The procedures to integrate parsing are almost the same for each email provider. Should you ever have a problem integrating your inbox, be sure to let us know. We'll sort it out. Thankfully for us, we can see the step-by-step -step instructions and follow them without any questions. All we need to do is click on the link inside the instruction and it will redirect us to Gmail settings. Here, let's click add a forwarding address. In the pop-up window, paste in the forwarding email address that Ammo CRM generated for you. You can find it in the setup email parsing back in the Ammo CRM tab. And then click next. Google will present you with the confirmation window with the forwarding email address. Click to proceed and confirm that in Gmail, then click next in Ammo CRM. If everything is done correctly, you'll see step two within an email that Google has sent to you. Find the confirmation code here, copy it, and then return to Google. Now in Google, paste the confirmation code into the required field and click verify. Don't forget to set up forwarding the way you want it in forwarding settings and change the setting from disable forwarding to forward a copy of incoming mail. Return to Amo CRM and proceed to step three. You'll see your emails here that have already been forwarded to the parser email and choose one that you want to use as a template for future emails. The last step. Here you'll see an email from your lead and all you need to do is just highlight the data that you'd like to parse and choose the required fields from the ones that we've created before. You can also add tags to the lead that will be created for leads created through the parser and you can even set the pipeline stage where these leads are going to appear or select the responsible user and set a task for them. After that, click done and congrats on getting one more useful tool in your arsenal and on surviving the integration process. It's one of the more difficult ones for sure, but we assure you the benefits are worth it. And thus, you've enabled email parsing that will help you create leads automatically and communicate with them in one tab. This is but one of the ways of automating your sales process. And there is so much more you can do to speed things up and make your sales pipeline truly efficient. Don't leave your leads behind and follow up on them on time. Success is now even easier for you to obtain. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.